Everything hurts. Like anyone cares. Bell. 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 Need to be Bell. You might as well not even be here anymore. I have to go to work. Come on, you're not up to it. I have to be. I've just got to get on with it. She's coming home. We still have to believe now. Look, what if we get a private investigator? No, she's left us. She doesn't want to come home. And she doesn't want us to find her. Lisa, you can't shut down like this. I'm going to work. Pushing me. Well, someone's getting spoiled rotten. Yeah, it's Tracy's birthday. Oh, can you be my boyfriend, please? <laughs> no, James is bigger than me. <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> uh, right, what do we need now? Uh, banners. Check. Also, oh, my dad with the balloons. Oh. Put 20 years on me, this lot. You sure there's 27 there? Oh, thanks for your concern. Uh, what about the cake? It's all sorted. Right, I am off to the factory to go and nick some sweets. Quick, she's coming. Oh, all of us behind the counter. Get behind there. I'll jump up on my one, two, three. Okay. Yeah. Where are you getting from? Shh. Hey, wait till she sees Vanessa at a birthday party. Zip it. Hello. Shop. David. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is going on? Twenty-seven presents for twenty-seven years. Happy birthday, gorgeous. Oh. <laughs> Say. Oh, and another thing, uh, I'm not going to propose to you today, so I'm giving you the day off. Really? Because mm. after all this, I might have just said yes. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Happy birthday. Hmm. Everyone is staring. They think it's stupid. They can probably smell you. They think you're such a weirdo. She's looking. Well, I am a weirdo. They want to hurt you. They want to hurt me. They think it's stupid. Hey! Good. <laughs> now. Get away. Don't annoy you. Stop, stop. Stop. I could do better than bits of cold toast if you want to come inside. Don't. Don't do don't it. Don't do it. I can't trust him. Don't do it. She it. Don't tell him. Mine's Tony. Mine's... I said no. Nothing. I'm just nothing. Come on. Let's get you warmed up. Don't trust him. You can't trust Don't trust him. Don't trust him. Don't trust him. It's Tracy's 90s themed birthday party in the Woolly later. So, uh, dig out your high waisted Levi's. Oh, I'm not really in the mood. Cash. Yeah, we uh, had a bit of a chat yesterday. And? He's not seeing someone else, is he? He said he loves me. And he's just been a bit stressed, that's all. Thing is, I don't believe a word of it. How did you tell him? No. You've got to be honest with him, all right? I mean, really honest. Tell him how you feel. Maybe then he'll get real with you, eh? Yeah, maybe. Please come to the wall pack later. <sighs> We've got cheese on sticks and day glow donuts. Oh, I said I'd have lunch with the Rakesh. Well, you spoil sport. Right, I've got to go. OK, bye. Lise, just do as much or as little as you want. Same apply to me, Mr Sharma. Don't push yourself too hard, eh? And if you need to go, you go. I'm here now, so here's where I'm staying. I'll keep an eye on her. I don't mean keeping an eye on. She looks terrible. She needs to go home. I know. Well, if this is what she wants, what can we do? Please, you don't have to avoid me. At least, not for the next few weeks, anyway. I'm going away. With Emma. On holiday. I thought going away might help calm things. I wasn't the one declaring all kinds. Yeah, I know. And I'm sorry for putting you in that position. 
And Emma? I couldn't hurt her. I've done enough of that in the past. And we're moving to Wiley's. When we get back, we're just renting it till this place sells, but no pressure. No, thanks. For all mm. your hard work. Jacob, you grab a couple of these. Dad, a couple yep. for you. Thank you. Right, people, are we doing this? Yeah! Yeah! Is he straight? A bit higher on your side. Do you know what? You're playing a blinder, mate, getting all this sort so quickly. Oh, well, as long as she don't freak out when she sees me here. Ah, she will. She'll love it. Right, Jacob, you are DJ for the time being, then it's straight back to school, OK? No sneaking drinks. Oh, buzzkill. Hey, any Matt Moreau in there? S Club 7. My mum used to love them. Get it banged on. You were not too loud, though. All right, Nana. Hey, here she is. Birthday girl, safely delivered. Yeah! Oh, what on earth do you all look like? Tonight is lunch. Here, grab, grab this. You're all absolutely mental. <laughs> uh, to be fair, um, it's all down for this one. Not all. Happy birthday, sis. Are you joking? You've done all this? <gasps> Only I was more of a Stets fan than an S Club, if I'm honest. Mm, not my fault you've no taste. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, thank you. Have you remembered your name yet? Don't stop. Eat stop. It. Why not? I'm hungry. I know you're hungry, love. You take your time. Everybody, Everybody hates you. You as well. You may as well be dead. What if it's poison? Just shut up, all right? I need to eat. You think you're worthless. They all they told you. They're going to lock you up. They know everything. No, I haven't done anything. They know everything. You sir. don't deserve it. Move. Move! Hey, wait! And I know he's somewhere else right now. I let someone else go down. And I'm woo! I always thought H stood for heart. Oh, I so wanted to marry him. H, job as debt. Oh, are you for real? I still wouldn't say no now, if I'm honest. Oh. Okay, you might. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm gonna miss it. Oh, do you want me to hold your hair back? Oh, that's so lovely. Oh, look at the stuff you two have missed out on. <laughs> right, my God. Uh, best present ever. Pair of roller boots. I thought we'll look well cool in them. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, best present. Oh, that's easy. It was a snog off Gary Millet. <laughs> your best present was a snog? Yeah. It was me first. And you were well fit. My turn. Best present was a uh, Barbie 4 by 4 until it got nicked. And um, worst present was a packet of Pop-Tarts, actually, <laughs> off my dad uh, for my seventh birthday. So, um, what are you losing with one? You get with another. <laughs> but that's not even funny. It's really sad. I used to love pop tarts, me. Oh, it's no biggie. Look, I, um, I know about the four before. Dad took it and gave it to me. What? I'm really sorry. I, I didn't even want it. I was way too old for it. So, hang on. So, I got this for you. I managed to track one down online. <laughs> And you think this makes it all OK? Yeah. Yeah. I don't trust you. Bell. 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 You can't stop now. No, I can't do this. I can't do it. It hurts so much. They all know. Move. They'll catch they you. I can't do this. I need my mum. Well, she doesn't need you. Not anymore. She probably hates you and wants you dead. Hate you and want 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 you dead.
Lisa. Lisa, it's lunchtime. I'm not hungry. Everyone needs a break. It's compulsory. I'd rather be busy. I know how you feel, to some extent. Archie, there's nothing worse than not knowing where your kids are. Do you mind if I just get home? You coming with us, then? Well, he's all worried about you, man. You gonna answer it? It might be news. I can't. You can. You know you can. Hello. No. Just one moment, I'll put her on. It's the police. No, no, no. Whoever it is, I, I don't want to know. No. You have to face this. Hello? Yes? I say. Right. And is she alive? Thank you. <gasps> they found her! They found my little girl! Oh, Lisa. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Pint of that punch fit. It's my party. Okay. I know what they're all talking about me. Poor little Tracy and his stolen toys. Never said a word. Look, I honestly didn't mean to upset you. I thought you'd like it, but it'd be a nice reminder of, <laughs> of what? My rubbish childhood. Yeah, I can see why I would want that on my birthday. Hey, don't have a go at her. She's put herself out for you today. Oh, what? And I'm supposed to be eternally grateful? No. But I wanted you to have a nice party. Yeah, a pity party to help alleviate your guilt. Uh, I have nothing to feel guilty about. It wasn't me that screwed you up. <gasps> oh, no, my screw up. Right, well, maybe if you'd had the life I'd had, you'd be the one on your hands and knees scrubbing a B&B whilst I swanked about him a green coat and wellies giving it the big I am. I'm sorry, OK? Is that what you want? No, I don't want your pity. Good. Because it's not for you, it's for him. That was really nasty. Yeah, well, maybe I am. Uh, Zach Dingle, uh, my daughter, Belle Dingle, she was brought in. The police called me. OK, if you wouldn't mind just waiting over there and then I'll let the doctor know. Where is she? I'm sure you'll see her soon. Oh, why can't they just take us to her? Don't they know how long she's been missing? It's all procedure. Well, what if they've got it wrong? I mean, what if it's not her? Huh? Well, look, just trying to keep it together. Uh... Mr and Mrs Dingle. Where is she? Can we see her? Yeah, of course. But she was very agitated, so we've had to sedate her. Sedate her? Blimey, how bad is she? She's dehydrated, for starters. So we've got her on some IV fluids. We'll check her over thoroughly. She does look very neglected. Oh, my precious girl. Oh. You're like, God, me, you can't keep me here. Belle, sweetheart. No, we have to keep running. I need to keep running. No, you don't, love. You don't need to run anymore. We've got you. I hate leaving Ross on his own with Moses. He's still rubbish at changing nappies. He always ends up with a sore bum. And Ross and Moses. Hi. Hi. Um, you left us at the farm. Cheers. The end of an era. 
still. I bet you can't wait to sell up and leave yourself. I hope you both have a lovely holiday. Thank you. Good luck with everything. Why would we need luck when we've got love on our side? Yeah. Hey, have you had lunch? Yeah, at the pub with Layla. Damn. I was going to treat you. Oh. Say thanks for putting up with me. Don't be silly. You know, we all struggle at times. Me included. You? Yeah, um... Actually, I've, I've been... You are the strongest woman I've ever met. You're strong for both of us. You deserve so much more than what you've been getting from me lately. Which is why I'm gonna take up your offer. To see Auntie Nita and Uncle Amar. Well, you're going to the hall. You're absolutely right. The break will do me some good. And when I get back, I'm going to start being the husband you deserve. What are you doing down there? Hiding. Oh, and drinking, but it's my birthday, so what are you going to do? Yeah. I'm gonna join you. It looks like a good bottle of wine. Oh. <sighs> I'm mean and nasty. And... Mm -mm. No, you're not. You're just drunk. And I didn't realise how deep this stuff went. And nobody was pitying you. Okay? Promise. <sighs> I feel so jealous. I mean, he never nicked up for me like he did her, did he? Probably let her down in other ways. He left them too, remember? The last birthday party I had, I was eight. I told all my mates from school my dad was coming. I'd lied and said he was captain of a ship because it was never there. Anyway, it got late. They all had to go home and he still hadn't shown up. I cried myself to sleep. <laughs> Honest, it's not about the toy car or having stuff. I just... I wanted him to love me. Come here. Do you know what the best thing about today was? Knowing I don't need him anymore. Got you. And mates. And a life here that I love. And I never have to see him again. <laughs> Dad? Yeah, I got the message to the ring. Is everything all right? When you get out, you can stay with me. That's wonderful news. On one condition. You sort things out with Tracy. And I mean properly, Dad. I want you to treat her exactly the same as you've treated me. Well, I always have. That's not true. You robbed a toy car off of her to give to me for starters. Did I? Don't remember. <sighs> Very convenient. Right, listen. If you want this fresh start, you need to make some changes. You have let her down really bad. But now it's time to make it up to her. Anything you say, darling. I mean it, Dad. Yeah, I know. 
and I hear you. Anything to make you happy? I've let them all know. They're over the moon. A lot of tears. She looks like she's not eaten for weeks. She probably hasn't. Poor lamb. We'll get her right again. No! No, get her off! Get her away! Get her away from me! Huh? Love is there! It's your mom! No, they hate you! I hate you! No! Please! She's evil! Get her away! No, I'm not! Never! I'm your mom! She wants me dead! <laughs> Could you all wait outside, please? We're a family. No, please get them on! She's no. gonna kill me! It's I'm not. Bed. Come on, just until we get her settled. <laughs> We're not leaving you, Belle. We're just outside, I promise. Well, just off of me! With Coronation Street coming up next, then we're off on an epic 2,000 mile journey. We join Joanna Lumley in Japan at nine. And this weekend, Mel B is back as a guest judge. We've all knew The X Factor tomorrow and Sunday at eight. <laughs>